everyone. So as you can tell, today's video is a little bit different. I was actually getting ready to film a hairstyling video, but today I really just wanted to talk to you guys and share some stuff about me um, that possibly can help some of you. And um, let's not get emotional before the video starts. A couple of weeks ago I asked you what topics you would want me to talk about in order to get to know me a little bit and obviously one of the most requested was for me to talk about how to deal with anxiety, my personal experiences, and so on. So I've definitely dabbled in this a little bit in a few of my previous videos but I've never really you know gone deep and really talked about my whole like personal experience with it. So. So my anxiety did start when I was very young. At four years old, I had my first panic attack. Really scary. From that moment on, I was very afraid and, you know, like didn't look at life the same way and I didn't understand why and I was way too young to be feeling that. I feel like 15, 20 years ago when I was a child, um, I feel like that this, you know, mental illness thing was just such a taboo thing. It was just a, if you have it, you keep it in. And, you know, like, it's just this very ugly thing. Obviously, it's not a pleasant thing, but I think the more awareness we give to it, um, and it's not for just the community of everyone that feels it or everyone that has it, but for your spouses, your best friends, your parents, someone that's in your life that doesn't have it and will never understand you from a, you know, self-experience kind of way. It is so important that this information is out there. Like, you may not suffer from diabetes, but you more or less know what it is. You've never probably had a heart attack, but again, you know how, like, kind of what to do to prevent it. You would kind of know what, you know, the symptoms are if you're having one. So why isn't there more, like, knowledge around just mental health issues, you know? And um, it's just one of those things that we kind of bottle up. And for so many years, I feel like that it was like, oh, it's not a real problem it's just all in your head and you just think these things and it's like yeah it is all in my head that's where thoughts happen that's where they originate but um, you know it's not something I'm creating at a very young age my parents you know had me see a therapist which totally helped um, and basically all it did was it relieved this like fear of like I'm so different what's wrong with me why am I feeling this and then I felt like after seeing a therapist it was really like you know like even when I was describing something that I felt she would almost finish the sentence for me and then I was like oh my god she like gets it like I'm not crazy you mean other people feel this and she's like absolutely you know all the time like I talk to kids all day that feel the same thing and I was like wow like this is amazing like where are these kids if <laughs> they need to be my friends um and obviously it got so much better like she taught me techniques um breathing techniques and things that you know like I could do to to really just help help with the anxiety help cope with it and not only help when it's there but really um, I felt like I could tackle it enough that I could almost avoid it in many situations which was obviously great but obviously I was really young still and I only did you know a few sessions and I felt like I'm strong again this is great um, and then obviously different stages of life bring on different fears, different anxieties, of course. But obviously I think some of the worst anxiety is the anxiety you get as an adult because I think you feel like it's a lot more shameful, it's a lot more you have to hide it, it's not okay, you don't have time for this. Um, and I just feel that, you know, in our society, and it's gotten so much better, it really has, I feel like 15, 20 years ago when I was, you know, a child, it was just something like people didn't talk about. It was just something that was really taboo almost. Um, so anyone that had it, it was really embarrassing. Um, and I've just realized like the importance it is not just to share our experiences so that we learn from each other, but really put out this awareness that, you know what, a lot of people suffer from this. And, you know, like any other disease has, you know, like has our respect basically, you know, um, and why does mental health issues have such like the stigma and this, you know, like embarrassment almost attached to it. And it's definitely not fair. Um, and I've 
hated when people are like, oh, it's just in your head, or, you know, you can just not think that way, or, you know, like nothing's happening to you, why are you freaking out? Um, and, you know, th that's really coming from someone that is just so not educated and has no idea. Um, and so this video isn't just for the anxiety sufferer, but for someone that either lives with someone that does or, you know, knows someone, or even if you don't, you may, you know, later in life encounter someone. And um, I think it's so important to really get, you know, that awareness for this, um, really what it is. And normally it just means that you're highly sensitive, highly aware. Um, so you feel things more than others, you, um, you know, things are more impactful to you than they are to the average person. And that, that's not a curse, that's not a bad thing, you know, it just, you have this gift that you can feel more and you can be more aware, you'll most likely be a better mother, you know, or a better parent, um, because you're, you're very in tune to people's needs. But as an anxiety sufferer, you, your needs most of the time are not met. And so this is why I kind of wanted to, you know, talk about this and so many YouTubers have talked about it. And I think that there's something so beautiful that, you know, we share this and that, you know, we, we both create this like support, um, but really, you know, not being ashamed of it. Really, I like, I remember like the first like celebrity I heard that had anxiety and I was just like, my God, you know, she's accomplished so much, so amazing, you know, and, you know, she was able to, you know, conquer all of this despite her anxiety. Um, and I definitely, one of my, like, moments where I was like, I have to make this video was that a couple of weeks ago, one of my clients was like, she had, you know, come to see me from YouTube, and she was like, oh, you're such an inspiration to me, you know, you're such a strong woman, and you, you know, have, you know, such a like strong career and you work on YouTube and you know, you just come off as a badass. And I was just like, really, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like on the inside or thinking that, but I was like, uh, I was almost like a, oh my gosh, I need to like go to the back and like cry because you just made my whole year, you know? And, um, and that really made me realize like we're, we're so hard on ourselves. We always look at what's challenging in our life, what we need to change, what we need to improve, that sometimes we don't take the moment to to really appreciate how good things are, you know? Um, and anytime that I've been so afraid and just so crippled with fear, I mean, honestly, I've gone through months where sometimes I'm just so afraid that all I can do is go to work because I'm terrified to go or do anything else. and. You know, that's obviously not any way for anyone to live, but my my point is that, you know, as, ex, anxiety can be felt in so many different ways. Um, this is how I feel it, and I think one of the best ways to cope with it is really having a good support system and a good, you know, family base or a good, you know, um, support at home. So if your spouse, you know, has no experience with anxiety, it's really important to let them know, like, what do you feel? And I know you can just be like, oh, well, I have anxiety, or I'm nervous about this, or I'm afraid of this, but that's not, like, enough. You know, don't be afraid to explain how, when you're having a worst moment, when you're having a panic attack, explain to your other, you know, half, like, what that feels like, why you feel this, or, you know, maybe you may not even not know, and that's okay too, but really helping them understand will help them, you know, know how to better, not just take care of you, but how to better deal with the situation and to make it more comfortable for you. And I definitely know for me that when I'm in a situation where I feel comfortable, where I can feel not afraid or I can feel comfortable enough that even if I get to that, you know, really scary place or that really, you know, um, just panicky feeling, um, I have this person here that can kind of help me through it or at least understands what I'm going through. It so puts you at ease. My like top three pieces of advice for anyone that has anxiety is number one, find a hobby. 
the more you're active, the more you're out of your head, the better you will feel. Being active, obviously, that kind of goes with the, you know, get out and do something. Um, but obviously, just it releases so many endorphins. Um, I'm not going to try and sound like, you know, a workout video right now, but um, it's just emotionally you feel better. You feel better that, you know, you're doing something for yourself. You start to feel healthier over time. And number two is just know that this isn't forever. When you're feeling so bad, it's sometimes so easy to get in our minds and be like, this is just awful. I've had an awful day. I've had an awful week. Uh, my life is awful. And, you know, try and like step back and just look at how amazing your life is because I don't care how bad things are right now. I don't care how many problems you have. You still have so many, so many things to be thankful for and so many things that millions would, you know, just give the world for. Um, and I had this moment one time I was going to this meeting that, you know, was really going to change my future basically and I was so nervous and I was just like, again, just crippled with this fear and I remember thinking, you know what, like, my one challenge is my fear and my anxieties and my, um, but you know what, like, I can handle that, like, I could have so many bigger problems and you know, like I'm here in this cab worried about my anxiety, about what I'm about to do. You know, like get out of your head, go be amazing and celebrate what you've accomplished, you know? And obviously that's easier said than done sometimes, but I think having strong pep talks with yourself, it's so much easier sometimes to uplift someone else, but you have to do it to yourself as well. And the third and last bit of advice is obviously have someone that when times do get really tough, have someone you can talk to and a friend that you 100% trust. And that doesn't mean that just tell anyone, you know, any one of your friends. Um, it's, it's important to have, you know, a very special friend, um, a parent, a teacher, anyone that you know can, can only help you by by you telling them. I, for this video, I really wanted to not get in depth about what gives me anxiety, what my anxieties are, because I just feel like anyone that's watching this that has anxiety, I don't want you, I don't want to add anxieties to you. I remember as a kid, like I had all these fears and if I heard another fear or I heard like about this disease or about this other crazy thing, it would just like paralyze me for like a day and be like, oh my gosh, like what if I have that? And what if like that's me? And you know, like I don't need to do that to you. This video is about how I deal with it and basically kind of my story leading to now, which is obviously, you know, a story that's still going. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't want to give you ideas that, you know, that are not in your head. Um, that's not what I want to spread. What I want to spread is, you know, just an awareness and an acceptance for, you know, having anxiety for people that deal with depression. But I hope that this becomes so much more of a, an understanding around it, both in schools, both to parents. And sometimes parents can have a child with anxiety where neither of the parent has anxiety and really doesn't know how to deal with it. So, um, you know, like it, it's so important for us to be aware of this. I mean, can you imagine if, you know, a friend of yours or a child of yours was like, say, having a heart attack or having, you know, some really life threatening, you know, thing happening? Wouldn't you want to have the tools or wouldn't you want to know what to do to help them and take care of them? And I think that that's the exact same way that this needs to be treated. So anyway, for those of you still watching, um, if, if you do have anxiety, I'm sorry, and just know that you were so strong. You have no idea the amazingness that is inside of you and the potential that is within you. And just one more little thing, I think I really wanted to start on a different project and I want to create something and I've always said that I wanted to create, you know, a hair care line um, and I've just thought before I even, you know, start with the first steps, I want to do this with you and I, I want us to create something together. Um, I want you to give me input. I want you to give me ideas. I want 
first of all, I think I would just want to know like what what product do you feel you need that either doesn't exist or that there's something out there but it's not good enough and you would prefer it to be more this or more that. Um, I just feel like this will be a good way to um, for you guys to really see it come alive, for you guys to really have input in it. Um, and it's, it's just another one of those opportunities that you know, you guys have enabled for me. So um, I definitely want to do this with you guys and um, I wouldn't have it any other way. And honestly, you guys are my best feedback. Um, I don't care about all the knowledge I could have about hair. I can never create something as amazing as, you know, all of us combined can think of. So, so please leave suggestions, please leave your ideas. Um, I am honestly open to everything that you guys have to suggest and help me with and um, just know that this is going to be amazing. I am so, so excited. This has literally been one of my dreams since I was probably a little girl. So, and it's just that much more special to me if you guys are a part of it. So yes, please leave any suggestions any products that you feel are missing out on the market um, or a product that you do love, but hey, maybe you wanna change the scent or maybe you wanna change whatever it is about it. Just please share your ideas and, um, and I just know that we're going to create something so, so amazing. I will stop the blabbing now. I know this is probably going to be a very long video. I appreciate those of you that are still here watching. I obviously appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys so, so much. And if you know someone with anxiety, go give them a big hug today and just tell them how much you appreciate them and that they are just so perfect just the way they are. And obviously a huge hug to everyone that does help anyone with anxiety and you know who has not made them feel like they are different or that they need to change those people definitely need a big big hug as well so anyway thank you guys so much for watching um please give this a thumbs up if you like this type of video please excuse the terrible hair and um as always i will see you next saturday love you bye